Tesla is expanding its 4680 battery business in Fremont, California, where it operates one of its vehicle manufacturing plants with a specific address, but the factory is not changing. Instead, Tesla is leasing a 210,000 plus square feet advanced manufacturing facility on Fremont Boulevard to help support the production of the company's 4680 cell technology. Keep listening, guys, because in this report, I will highlight the significance of this new development in seven important uh, points. Welcome back, everyone. This is Armin Harayan from TorqueNews.com. If you are here first time, please subscribe to our channel for daily Tesla news and ring the bell so you don't miss my next coverage. So Tesla signed the lease for 4840. 101 Fremont Boulevard, according to the sources who told San Francisco Business Times that the new industrial real estate area will be used for 4680 production. The building, which is owned by Real Estate Investment Trust Prologis, was initially said to be a manufacturing hub for applied materials, but the company pulled out of its lease. Tesla's new lease property at 48401 Fremont Boulevard is located just three miles from the current Fremont factory. It is also just across the street from its Cato Road facility, which has been widely recognized as the plant most responsible for 4680 cell production. And I have several reports about the Cato Road project. Tesla's 4680 cell offensive has started with production at Cato Road, but the company has been manufacturing the cells in Texas as well as putting them in Model Y vehicles that are built at Gigafactory, Texas. The sales were unveiled at Battery Day, if you remember, in 2020 and catapulted um, Tesla into the frame as a major contributor to an increase in battery cell technology. However, the company has worked to ramp up production for several years and while it has made drastic strides, it is not implemented in the batteries in the vehicles in a mass number of vehicles. However, it could be a piece of Cybertruck production in the future. Although last year CEO Elon Musk said 4680 cells would be important in 2023 this year, they were not a major contributor to satisfying vehicle production in 2022. Tesla plans to bring the Cybertruck to production later this year and plans to begin delivering the vehicle in quarter three with a dedicated event. As an editor of Torque News, here are seven points to highlight the significance of this new uh, of this news re uh, regarding Tesla's 4680 batteries, friends. First is expansion of 4680 battery business. So first one, Tesla's decision to expand its 4680 battery business in Fremont, California, is a significant development. This move demonstrates the company's commitment to advancing its battery technology and meeting the increasing demand for electric vehicles. Second, leasing advanced manufacturing facility. Tesla's lease of a 210,000 plus square foot advanced manufacturing facility on Fremont Boulevard is a strategic step towards supporting the production of the company's 4680 cell technology. This move signifies Tesla's investment in scaling up its battery manufacturing capability. Third, ideal location proximity. Why? This new property at 46, actually 48401 Fremont Boulevard is conveniently located just three miles from the Fremont factory and across the street from the Cato Road facility. This proximity ensures operational efficiency and close collaboration between different production sites involved in 4680 cell production. Next, role of Cato Road facility. The Cato Road facility has been widely recognized as the primary plant responsible for 4680 cell production. With the new manufacturing facility in close proximity to Cato Road, it indicates Tesla's focus on expanding and in, um, optimizing its production capacity for these advanced battery materials. And another one, battery day catalyst. Tesla's unveiling of its 4680 cells at Battery Day in 2020 was a groundbreaking event for the company and the entire battery in the, in the industry. This technology showcases positioned Tesla as a major contributor to the advancement of battery cell technology and this expansion in Fremont reflects their commitment to realizing the promises made during Battery Day. And the next one, integration with Model Y and future plans. 
while Tesla has already been incorporating 4680 cells into Model Y vehicle manufactured in Texas, the company has not yet implemented them on large scale, as I said. However, the mention of potential use in Cybertruck production signifies Tesla's intention to leverage the 4680 cells in upcoming vehicle releases, including the highly anticipated Cybertruck slated for production later this year. Now, and the last one, towards vehicle production goals. Tesla CEO Elon Musk previously stated that 4680 cells would be important in 2023, indicating their growing role in the company's vehicle production plans. With Tesla dedication to ramping up battery production and the planned delivery of Cybertruck in quarter three, the incorporation of the 4680 cells in a mass number of vehicles could become a really soon further solidifying Tesla's position in the electric vehicle market. Actually, would become a reality really soon further solidifying Tesla's position in the electric vehicle market. So what do you think about Tesla expanding its battery business in the, near the Fremont factory and about this point? Let me know your thoughts, how you view all these things and how this will affect Tesla in the near future. Cybertruck production, Tesla is basically preparing these batteries for Cybertruck production and Model Y and maybe some more. Let me know, friends, your thoughts in the comment section below. I'll see you soon in our next report. GM and Ford have come to Tesla as Elon Musk may have cornered the market. GM and Ford don't want to be in the gas station business. They don't care who pumps the gas, which in this case is electricity for electric vehicles. And they have come to Tesla. That's exactly the point and we're seeing the legacy car makers coming to the Tesla, to the leader Tesla. And let's see how big of a deal this is. Yesterday's GM Tesla announcement shows that Tesla may have cornered the market on the EV charging station and Elon Musk may be checkmating legacy car makers on electric vehicle charging stations. As some of you may already know, yesterday Tesla and GM announced an agreement to expand access to Tesla's supercharger network. In this report, I'm going to give you 10 important points about the significance of this collaboration between Tesla, Ford and GM and expand their far-reaching consequences. I actually explain their far-reaching consequences. So welcome back everyone. This is Armin Haryan from torquenews.com. So now GM, like Ford, will collaborate with Tesla to share Tesla's fast charging electric vehicle network. Here are 10 important points for you and your decision making on the GM Tesla announcement so you may be fully informed about this very important game changing development in the automotive industry. I say game changing because this really is a very big deal. So first is Tesla's charging port is a big deal because it will force other car makers including General Motors and Ford to adapt to it. Second, GM and Ford don't want to rely on third parties for building electric vehicle charging infrastructure. So they are teaming up with Tesla to save time and money. Third, this collaboration puts Tesla in a dominant position in the electric vehicle charging market, leaving other charging uh, startups at a disadvantage. Fourth, the partnership between GM, Ford and Tesla could create a standardized charging system similar to the iPhone and Android chargers. Fifth, GM and Ford are taking a shortcut by leveraging Tesla's expertise in charging network and technology. Sixth, the transition to the Tesla charging station may take time for other car makers, but eventually it could become the industry standard. Seven, this collaboration can be compared to the VHS Betamax rivalry. Remember those days where one technology became dominant over the other. Eight, Tesla charging network checkmates other car makers and establishes Tesla as the leader in the electric vehicle market. Nine, the move toward a standardized charging system could benefit car buyers in the long run and Tesla buyers or any electric vehicle car buyers in the long run. And 10, this partnership between GM, Ford and Tesla is surprising but advantageous for all parties involved. Let me know why you think this is surprising and why you think this is advantageous for Tesla, GM, Ford, and who do you think will be the next car maker joining this partnership to standardize electric vehicle charging stations and the systems and technology? Let me know your thoughts in the comments section below, friends. Have a great day.